a fishbone diagram. So, it is also known as cause and effect uh, analysis. So, uh, the basic idea is that if in case uh, there is a problem, you ask a question why? Why is the problem happening? And you may uh, think of some reasons why is this problem happening? And you keep on asking question why, why, why many times. In fact, this is uh, uh, quite well known as a, a Toyota's 5W uh, system, meaning to say you have to ask a question why five times and then you come up to a root cause of any particular problem. And once you know what the root cause is, then of course the idea is that see what you can do about the root cause and as you eliminate the root cause of the problem, the problem is solved. That is really the uh, essential idea. Starting with the problem, asking a question why five times until you trace to the root of the problem and then uh, you would attack that root, uh, root cause and therefore correspondingly uh, you would be able to solve the problem. For example, you start with a problem and then there may be many uh, causes for that. So, first you ask a question, why is problem happening? Because of main cause 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Then you ask a question, why is main cause 1 happening? And then you come up with answer. You keep on digging deeper into the causes of uh, this particular problem. So, after you find the main cause 1, then you ask a question, why did the main cause 1 come up? And maybe you will come up with the reasons uh, A, B, C and then you write those down. Out of that A, why did the cause A occur? Maybe because of A1, A2, A3. And then uh, as you get the hang of it, you keep on digging deeper uh, into this uh, technique. So, work uh, one category at a time. So, basically focus on one thing and uh, uh, think through that. So, uh, let me give you an example. So, that will make it uh, clear how this one works. Now, let us say uh, in a company, now they had introduced a system but they found that uh, it was not being used as well as uh, they had hoped. Uh, so, professionals not using an information system, that was the main problem uh, they were trying to study. And the main causes are training, user attitude, workstation and software system. Now, uh, after identifying these main causes, you keep on digging deeper. So, let us say uh, oh, user attitude, uh, you ask a question, why is this happening? Uh, maybe some of these uh, senior management are old school they are not very comfortable with using new technology and therefore they don't use it or maybe uh, that they think you know uh, this hardware is something that not the top managers use you have secretaries and secretaries use those things so therefore they may be a sort of a secretarial stigma so to say uh, now other thing that might be happening is that they are not used to using manuals that uh, if something doesn't work they just give up and so on and so forth hard to change habits impatience so uh, you have asked a question why so, you keep on uh, filling up uh, this uh, fishbone diagram and that becomes a very clear representation and also a good communication tool as you explain uh, why uh, and how uh, you plan to solve uh, this particular uh, problem. Mm -hmm.